if Malik keeps it real, Malik should toss away anything that's a lie on him. Right. So I think it's fine. Listen to this, what God said would happen to black people post-slavery. Now listen to this, and look how much it, it matches up with our history. And this is why when we go to Sunday church, they only teach us about what? Faith. Uh, if you pay your tithes, you're going to get blessed. Uh, your cup runneth over. Uh, God loves you no matter what. Those are basically the gist of what we learn in the Christian church. Look what God said would happen to his people. Read that. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. Read it. And you shall leave your name for a curse. Now slow down, man, and read normal. And you shall leave your name for a curse. It says, you shall leave your name for a curse. Read it. Unto my folk. Instead of being called God's chosen, you would be called a cursed name. For example, African or American black, that's a cursed name because, I, have you ever read the Bible, Nate? You read some of it? What about you? You ever read the Bible song? You have it? What about you, brother? You ever read the Bible song? You ever read the Bible a little bit? Okay, so have y'all ever seen the name African American in the Bible? Mm, bring it out. Ever seen Haitian in the Bible? You ever seen those names in there? That lets you know that God did not give a certain people that name, but he prophesied what? Read from the top again. And you shall leave your name for a curse. You would leave your name he gave you and take on a curse. Now watch this. Read unto my tongue. Uh -huh. For the Lord God shall slay you. He said he's going to end. He's going to kill his own people. Read. And call his servants by another name. By what? By another name. By another name. So the thing is, with us as a people, we've been going to church and reading the Bible, looking for ourselves in the Bible as African American, but God called you Judah in the Bible. That's right. You've been looking for Haitian. Where do I fit in? Because that was my question. Where do I fit in with God? And I didn't know he was talking to me as Judah. He was talking to Haitians as Levi. This is the name that God called you. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28 and read verse 64. Come here, sis. You got time for God? Everybody, everybody should have time for God on Easter Sunday. Right. Come on now. You wonder why God jack us up as a people? You ain't got time for him. Read that Deuteronomy 28, 64. Listen to this, y'all. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Now watch this. And the Lord shall scatter you among all people. God said, I will scatter you from all people. Now we know that we as black folk here in America, we came from Africa, right? We came from Africa. Even Haitians came from Africa. They didn't start out in Haiti. We know black folk came from the west coast of Africa, right? Now read that again. And the Lord shall scatter you. God said he's going to scatter you. Now did they have planes back when Moses was alive? Way back a thousand, thousand years ago, did they have planes on the earth? Nah. What did they have on earth? How did they travel from one country to another? By boats, right? So God said, I would scatter you all over the world, read on, from one end of the earth, even to the other. Now this is a map and it's condensed, right? It's condensed so it's flat. But God said, I will scatter you from one end of the earth to the other. So he would take us from here, and he would send us this way, he would send us that way, he would send us this way, he would send us that way. All over the earth, you can find black people somewhere on the earth. But are those black people calling themselves Israelites from the tribe of Judah or the tribe of Levi? Have you ever heard black people refer to themselves as that? No. They call it, in America, we call ourselves African Americans. In Haiti, we call ourselves Haitians. In the Caribbean, we call ourselves Jamaicans or West Indians or, or uh, Trinidadians. We call ourselves those names. God said, I will scatter you and take away your name from you. And now, when your name, now, here's a question for you. What's your name, sis? Ashley. And your name was? Marvin? Mar Marvis? Okay, now if Ashley 
you walking down the street and I say, Brittany! And you walking down the street, Barbara's, Alan! Are either one of y'all gonna turn around? Cause it ain't your name, right? So as you read the Bible and you were scattered to all these places, you've been reading the Bible not knowing that God is calling your name. But he never gave you the name of African American or Haitian. He gave you the name of Levi. He gave you the name of Judah. Now, now listen to this. Here's a question, because you got a daughter. When you was naming your daughter or picking out a name for her, did you want that name to be special or don't mean ish? Did you want it to be special to you and to her and sound good? Did you want that for her? Okay, so when you was naming your daughter, what was your thought process? I'm gonna name her after a cat. Oh, okay, you were thinking. Okay, so you wanted to, to mean something then. What is her name? My name is actually, it's not my daughter, it's my niece. Oh, your niece, okay, okay, okay. So my son and a daughter. Huh? My son is named after his dad, and my daughter just got the letter A. So her name is Amora. Okay, what's that mean? And mean love. You wanted it to mean something, didn't you? Okay, there you go. So let's see what the name, when God gave us, because re remember, we already proved you can't find African American and you can't find Haitian in the Bible. So God called you Israel from the descendant of a man named Judah and the descendant of a man named Levi. Now let's see what the name Israel means, okay? And let's see if God said, man, I'm gonna just give him something, or if he gave us a name with meaning. Read that in uh, Genesis, you got it? Go ahead. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. Now listen to this, go ahead. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So his name, Israel's name was first called Jacob. Right? He said, your name ain't going to be Jacob no more, Marvis. Read. But Israel. Your name is going to be called Israel. Now, look what God said the name Israel means. Read. For as a prince. For what? For as a prince. As a prince. Read. Has dealt power with God. So the name Israel means prince of God. Now, what does Marvis mean? What does Marvis mean? What does it mean? I didn't say who named Marvis. I said, what does it mean? It means me? So you don't know what your name means then, do you? You just know his name. But you don't know the meaning of it. Marvis can mean a, a, a cat in a hat. It could mean that, but you don't know. But God said the name Israel means what? Read it again for him. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God. He said Israel means a prince of God. Right. Now you understand when the when the French, because I don't know, you might know, do you know a little bit about Haitian history, how uh, fought off the French and got their independence in 1804, right? So when the French came and they uh, and they conquered the, because you wasn't called Haitian before that, when they conquered you as a people, they named you Haitian. And the word IET means a mountainous land. So they took the name of what? Uh, Israel means what? A prince with God and gave you the name Mountain. And now, when it comes to Levi, now God said, this is the nation you belong to. And then he said, you are from this tribe. This is who you belong to. Now so what Levi means? The book of Genesis, chapter 29, verse 34. Yeah. And she conceived again and bare a son. This is your ancestor. Your, your great, 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 great grandmother. All right? She and said, son. Read. And, and she conceived again and bare a son. And said, now, my time, now this time, my husband will be joined unto me. Will be joined unto me. You got what? Is what black people are called in the Bible. Because in 2024, I was asking Marvis, I was asking him what his name meant. And he just said he's named after famous people, but don't actually know what his name means. 
And that's what we are as a people. As folks who grew up thinking I was African American. What about you? What, what race are you? Black American. So we, was, we grew up in the 60s, 70s, 80s. Hell, even in the 80s, Jesse Jackson changed black folks' names. But we used to be called Black Americans. And then Jesse Jackson said, no, we're not black. We are African Americans. That happened not a fact in 1989. 80 what? Okay, it's 89. He changed black folks' name from Black American to African American. And from that point on, we've been known as African Americans. But you said Black American. I know he's a kid. But you was born before that, okay? So you was born thinking you was black or told you was Black American. And then Jesse Jackson came on and said, no, we African Americans and now the whole world calls us like that. What I'm going on is that black folks know that they actually are in the Bible. And it's a, it's a whole in our soul. It's a history book. Read that. Genesis chapter 29 is pretty close. Yeah. And she conceived with again. So this is the, the patient great, 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 great grandma we're reading about. Read. And bear a son. And bear a son. And said, now this time will my husband be joined unto me. My, my husband shall be joined. Now, Rito, what she called? What she named him? Because I have born him three sons. Uh -huh. Therefore, was his name called Levi. Who? Levi. Levi means joined unto the Lord. The French called you Haitian, which means mountainous land. They named you after the land. But God called the Haitians Levi, which means joined unto the Lord. That's why, that's why Haitians, they go hard. God. Whether it be voodoo, whether it be Pentecostal, whether it be Baptist, Haitians go hard for God. Now, let's go back to the top. Now, listen to this. Now, go back to Genesis uh, uh, 28, or we saw 32, 28, because we're going to show you what the name Israel means in the Bible. Because as I was going, what's your race? Says, what, you Puerto Rican? Okay, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rico means rich port. Right? You're not a rich port. That's, that's an inanimate object. That's a pier that you walk down to walk on the ocean. A piece of wood. So it's no way that the Tainos could be rich port. Christopher Columbus gave you that name. Right. God calls you, where is it at? Ephraim in the Bible. See, this is the thing that blacks and Hispanics don't know. We brothers and sisters and the, and the, and the uh, conquistadors and the British that look like this, they came and enslaved us and then they changed our name. God called us to what they wanted to call us. They call Haitians, uh, ha uh, Haitians or Levi Haitians. They call Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Rich Port. They call African Americans. It's two white men, and we don't even know them. Right. Amerigo Vespucci. Wait a minute, brother. Come on, brother. Don't go up the Okay, Gerard. Okay. Amerigo Vespucci, a white Italian navigator. And then they called us uh, Scipio Africanus. That was a white man that defeated Hannibal in the Third Punic War, and then they named Africa after him. Right. And now they called us Black Americans. My boots is what color? What color your shoes, sis? Huh? What though? Your shoes are black. The bottom of it is white, but your shoes is black. Now, we ain't never seen a person on earth that color. You ain't never seen nobody black, have you? Because what color is our skin? And they tell you you're black. Now go back to Genesis 32, 28. Read that. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. I'm going to read this. And watch. I'm going to show you how important it is to know your name that God called you. Because if you don't know your name, you don't know what your destiny is. That's why it's so important not to give our kids names like Aquafina, Jerome and Rome. Then what the hell does that mean? Oh, I don't know. What do most black men try to say when they're growing up and they lost? They say, I'm trying to find myself. Because they don't know who they are. Right. Read that what God called us in the Bible. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. That's our ancestor, read. But Israel. He said, I'm going to call you Israel from now on, right? Read. For as a prince has thou power with God. Hold on, read it one more again for, for mama. Israel means what? But Israel, for a, as a prince has thy power with God. I said Israel means prince of God. 
So if you're a man and you're a prince of God, what would that make for women? Princesses. Okay, you got the status of king and queen here. Now look at this. Now go to verse 64. Where's the sign about uh, what we use it today? Where's the sign? Let me where? Where's the sign? Where's the sign? Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Verse 64. Go ahead, read that. Go ahead, read it. 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 Go but we don't never fact check our son. We have believed everything that that white man told us once we got off the ship. Even that we were Egyptians like your earring we got off. I used to believe it myself because I wanted to associate my, my brown uh, melanated skin with something that was kings and queens on the earth. But my soul told me I'm more than the niggas that they told me I am. I'm way too smart to be a nigger. I'm too talented to be one of the Nah, it's not playing. And God told me who he was. Now watch this. Read verse 68, uh, 64 in the Bible. And then I'm going to read how we got to America. It's what most black folk do that in the Bible, it tells you how black folk got to America. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Yeah. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Now here's the outside the Bible. Historical facts. Was black people not taken from Africa and then scattered all over the world? Is that history? Did that happen to us in the 1600s? That's history. That's outside of the Bible. Even if you don't believe the Bible, you think it's fake. You can't deny how the hell black folk got to America. And they teach it every what? Every what month do they tell you about black folk history? February. They remind you, yeah, you niggas were slaves. You got up out the yeah, short is out the year. You got out the cotton field. Martin Luther King got hit in the head with a brick, and now you can vote. Vote or die, niggas. And it ain't changed nothing. It ain't changed nothing in the hood. Right? So God said, I will scatter you. Now, here's the question. I asked it earlier. Was it planes a thousand years ago? Was it planes in the 1600s, 1500s, 1400s? How did, how did Christopher Columbus come from Spain to America? By what? So it wasn't planes. So when God said, I'm going to do what to you? Shall scatter thee among all people. God said, I'm going to scatter you. How was the way he was going to scatter? By what? By ship, right? Now watch this, watch this, brother, watch this. Read verse 68. Bring it out to our feet. If this ain't black folk history, what do you be uh, African American? What, what are you? Jamaican, Asian, African American? Where's your daddy? Where's your daddy from? He, uh, Now watch this in verse 68. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. You see, this is the Bible we read it out of. It's highlighted all of it, right? Read it. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now here's the thing. You got unks on your ear, so let's see if you know some Egyptian history. Oh, you don't know it? I just like to thank Okay, you. okay. So let me let me let me educate you. When the Israelites of the Bible were in Egypt, what was their status? Okay, well, give me that in Deuteronomy 5 to 6. I'm going to show you because this is the thing about the Bible. This is how powerful God is. He don't need no damn body to answer for him. Right. He needs you to explain what he already got. Because he ain't going to come down here and talk to us. We in the midst of sin. We all out of order. We ain't right. God ain't great talk to us. He's king. All right? Now look what. Well, it's on, it's on the back here. It's on the back. Okay, well, let me let, let, hear this before you go. Read that in Deuteronomy 5 to 6. Because this is this is the nail in the coffin that we need to connect the dots of who we are. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 6. Yeah. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. We're talking about Egypt, right? Read. From the house of bondage. God said that uh, Egypt is the house of what? Bondage. Now, brother, what's your name? What's your name? Lee. Now, what does it mean? Lee. Okay, what is it? Mully. Okay, Mully. Uh, what does it mean to be bound? 
and his men leading by example. 